I was at school when a fashion magazine took a photo of me on the street in Harajuku. That's when I started modeling. I never thought I wanted to be a singer, but they asked me to DJ at a clubbing event for teenagers about a year later. That's where I met my producer, Yasutaka Nakata, whose songs I've always loved. I still can't believe that an ordinary schoolgirl became who I am today in a few years. This is Harajuku, where Carrie's unique fashion was born and where the majority of her Japanese fans are. The kawaii, or cute culture, used to be about Hello Kitty or schoolgirls obsessed with making their eyes look bigger like Barbie dolls. But Carrie has been pushing the boundary by embracing quirky as part of her cute image. And in less than three years, she's touring around the world. Thanks to a team of her producers, Carrie has been transformed from a regular teenager to the pop sensation. And wherever she goes, she's greeted by die-hard fans who are dressed just like her.